In this video, we're going to be talking about Quantitative Structure Activity Relationship, or otherwise known by this acronym of QSAR. QSAR is a technique that applies machine learning in order to learn the relationship between the chemical structure and the biological activity of our interest. In this schematic diagram that I've drawn in an iPad, it shows the cartoon illustration of the entire workflow of the QSAR process which entails the collection of a data set of molecules. In this example, we have molecules 1 and molecules 2. And in a practical setting, there will be much more than two molecules. There could be a 100, a 1,000, or even more than that. Each of the molecule, as shown here, which are the chemical structures, will be subjective to calculation of their molecular descriptors, which will essentially describe the physical chemical properties that distinguish one molecule from the other. In this example, we see that it has a value of 1 and 0, which is a binary representation of the presence and absence of a particular molecular feature. A collection of the molecular descriptors for all of the molecule in the data set will constitute this data frame, which also is the data set. The X descriptors that you see here corresponds to the molecular descriptors. The Y variable corresponds to the biological activity that we want to predict. In this example, a value of 1 will indicate that the molecule is active, while a value of 0 will indicate that it is inactive. This data set will be used to train a machine learning model. The machine learning model will be able to learn the relationship between the chemical structure and the biological activity, so that in a future scenario, a molecule with a given molecular descriptors will be applied to the predictive model, and the model will make a prediction whether the molecule is active or inactive. In this example, the molecule has a value of 1, which corresponds to it being active. So aside from being being able to predict the biological activity, the model will be able to provide insights on which features are important. And such information will be important for biologists and chemists in their design of future molecules in order to have more robust properties. And there you have it, a quick explanation of the QSAR process. And if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet done so, hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.